In this video tutorial, I will explain about beam strength of a gate tooth. So this is the gate tooth. The gate tooth forces acting are tangential component PT and radial component PR. So the resultant component will act along the common normal. The angle made by the common normal is called as pressure angle. This is the pressure angle alpha. The thickness of the tooth at the root is T. Height of the tooth is H. So at this section at the root that means at the section XX here you can experience this gate teeth can experience bending stress. Calculate the amount of tangential force that the gate teeth can transmit at permissible bending stress. The tangential force value is called as a beam strength of the gate tooth. So to derive the equation for beam strength I am taking these assumptions. This PR radial component is neglected because the stresses induced due to PR is very very less and PT is uniformly distributed throughout the face width. Stress concentration is neglected. Assume that only one pair of teeth is in contact because there are two pairs of teeth are in contact but we are assuming that only one pair is taking the total load such that our design will be more safe. At section XX consider the bending stress. To get the bending stress I am taking the bending equation that is m by i equal to f by y. m is the moment. Moment is nothing but the product of this tangential component into this height that is m equal to pt into h then i is moment of inertia moment of inertia at section this section so here b is the face width and t is the thickness of thickness at the root that means automatically bending stress will be sorry moment of inertia will be bt cube by 12 distance up to the neutral fiber that is nothing but t by 2 y equal to t by 2 bending stress i am denoting with sigma b this is the terminology now you substitute i m y and f b values in this equation after substitution you will get something like this here my aim is to find the tangential force the amount of tangential force that the gate teeth can transmit that i want to find that's why we solve for pt rearrange it and solve for pt then after simplification finally you will get pt value as something like this that is b into sigma b into t square by 6h now observe these terms t this thickness thickness at the root then height h these two parameters are the circular pitch will depend only on the circular pitch so In terms of circular pitch, I am taking this T and H values. That means T equal to some constant X into circular pitch, H equal to some constant K into circular pitch. Now you substitute this T and H values in this equation, then automatically you will get this is X square P square by 6K into P. Then now you will get one P remains here, other P other circular pitch value cancels then you will get b into b into pt by pt equal to b into sigma b into p into this value now this constant value now i am calling as some y this constant i am calling as some y this is tooth form factor or levis form factor this y you can call as Levis form factor or tooth form factor after substituting that y value here you will get pt equal to b into sigma b into p into y now instead of p i can substitute pi into m because module is the main important parameter in terminology of gears that's why circular pitch again i am replacing in terms of module then sub after substituting p value as pi m you will get finally pt equal to b into sigma b into pi m y now pt is the tangential force at sigma b 
if sigma b is a permissible bending stress that means at permissible bending stress the amount of tangential force that the gate teeth can transmit that we can call as sp beam strength is nothing but it's also a tangential force but that is the maximum amount of tangential force that the gate teeth can transmit at the permissible bending stress so after replacing pt by sb then beam strength is m into b into sigma b into pi into y this is the final equation for beam strength